In this survey of engineering video, we're going to be continuing the understand part of our design engineering design process. What's in this video, we're going to be continuing the process and focusing on how we research the problem. Here are your portfolio questions. What is the purpose of conducting research? And what are the three things you will usually do when conducting research about a problem? So we are continuing our understand block. Last video we talked about problem statements and design statements. And now we're going to focus on the research that we will do to understand the problem. So how do we research the problem? Well, first let's understand why we want to, to do research about a problem. We need to understand what other people have tried to solve our particular problem. We need to look for other things in other fields that might be applicable to our problem, things that are analogous. And we need to look to nature. Often nature has a good solution for um, the problem that we are working on. So how do we do this research? Well, what are the resources that we have? We can reverse engineer things, take something that we know um, is a solution and take it apart, see how it works. We can look to articles in journals or textbooks or patent searches. These are going to show us current research in the area or products that have been patented and have um, are applicable to our problem. And we can just look around the world, look at the world around us and, and see natural processes. So what are our best resources for doing research? We can use the internet. Here we have to be cautious. Uh, the kinds of sources on the internet are, we need to understand what the source is and what their bias might be when we're reading on the internet. We can look at literature and patents. And by literature, I mean scholarly articles that are published in journals. And for those things, we can look at Google, Google Scholar that helps us have see abstracts to articles so that we can see if we have more interest in those articles. We can do a Google patent search or we can go to the US Patent and Trademark Office and do a search on patents. And you can use your own observations about the world. So let's do an example of how we might research a problem. So if we are going to design a new type of hip replacement, we might do literature and patent researches, research in um, things that other people have done with joint replacement and research that's going on in the area of joint replacement. We could learn about natural hips and joints, how do hips and joints work and what materials are in them and how does it work in nature. And we can ask the question, are there other application where there are joints used? How, how do other things bend and, and look at those examples. And finally, we can look and see and ask the question, are there new materials that are similar to the natural materials that occur in a hip. So let's think about our cookie problem as another example. What kind of research could we do for our cookie problem? If you remember the cookie problem was I need to find a new method for making a thick chewy cookie at high altitude. I can do literature searches on high altitude cooking, on high altitude recipes. 
I can see if there are any patents for the cookie making process and look for any high altitude research for um, cooking at high altitudes. I can also think about are there other chemical reactions because baking is chemical reactions. Are there other chemical reactions that I could apply here? So in summary from this uh, video, research helps us have a greater understanding of the problem and helps us generate new ideas. And that will lead us into the next part of our design process. So answer your portfolio questions and think about how you might research the problem that you decided on in class.